Okay, ready? Five seconds before the performance. Welcome to Theatre First with Alex First. Zodiac mythology binds together 12 acts that are a fusion of circus, burlesque and dance in Oracle. It's the work of the team behind the award-winning Matador. Pulsating, toe-tapping beats are the order of the day, along with a cavalcade of colourful and risque costuming and athletic and acrobatic feats on and above the stage. Among the many highlights is the artistry, strength, agility, fluidity and stamina of two brothers with the same mother but different fathers, one mortal and the other not. Theirs is the story of the formation of the constellation Gemini, which is second up in the first act and sets a very high bar of excellence. So too the muscular bull who falls in love with a beautiful live princess, the pair forming an inseparable union that becomes Taurus two scenes later. My appreciation of the offering grew even further after interval. That's when much of the material was truly mesmerising. I speak of a female Hercules fire-eating and strutting about the stage in skimpy attire as if she owned the place. All eyes are on a cheeky pole dancer in the highest of high gold platform shoes. A remarkable juggler shows balance extraordinaire when he performs with as many as seven golden hula hoops. That's not to overlook a spectacular scaling of a rope to virtually the roof of the playhouse at Art Centre Melbourne, making it look as effortless as a gentle afternoon stroll. Quite remarkable. Clearly a great deal of thought has gone into the creativity that is the hallmark of Oracle. My only caveat concerns the music often drowning out the spoken word that forms part of the narrative arc. It became a competition with a storyline such that it is virtually lost. Mind you, that's an easy fix. An adjustment to the sound level at appropriate junctures is all it would take. Other than that, the appreciative audience is on side throughout. We're encouraged not to stay silent, and there's hooping and hollering aplenty. A sure sign that a good time is being had. And when all 18 performers assemble for the finale, a standing ovation follows. Oracle is on at Art Centre Melbourne until the 8th of January. The Princess Theatre in Brisbane between the 13th and 16th of January. And Gluttony in Adelaide as part of Adelaide Fringe from February the 18th to March the 20th, 2022. You've been listening to Theatre First with Alex First. Available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio or your favourite podcast player. You can also stream on demand at Bytes.com. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.